While writer Carroll invented the bullet journal in the late 1990s to overcome his ADHD, the bullet journal has seen a massive resurgence in the productivity and minimalism community recently. Popular YouTubers such as Pickup Lines, Ruby Granger, and Ashlyn Eden have showcased how they bullet journal in a physical sense. However, as the productivity app guy, I wanted to showcase to you the positive benefits of taking a great system like a bullet journal and turning it into a digital tool that can help you become more productive, organized, and intentional with your day-to-day -day life. What is going on guys? My name is Dimitri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to take that bullet journal, put it into Notion, and utilize the template I have to organize your daily life. All right, so this is my bullet journal template that I made out. So as you can see, this is different than what a lot of database ones would be like. There is a different setup regarding the fact that there are templates, there are pages, and there are places to store things. So a lot of this template is predicated on templates and how you can quickly do something like this. So we have these weekly overviews. We have these monthly overviews. And we have monthly and yearly storage. So essentially at the end of every month, what you do or throughout the month, you can go and pop these into storage and then pop them into here. So that's kind of the setup we got going on. So that's kind of the basic idea of the workflow. I'll get more into that later, but first and foremost, let's dive into what the key is. So the key is something that can showcase to you what something on your bullet journal would be. So if it has this checkbox, it'd be a task. And if it has this bullet, it would be an event. And then, so you guys understand what priorities would be, you can have a top priority, a secondary priority, and a normal priority without color here. And this can be set up in any way you want. However, it's just nice to have this key right here in order to showcase that as well. So first let's dive into the yearly goals section. This is something where we can quickly and easily put what we want for our yearly goals. So we have read five books this year, write one blog post this week. And these are some obvious examples of what some yearly goals could be for you. So just as an easy yearly overview, what you can have is this big guy at the center of everything sort of in your main page. And this is just a master calendar. So essentially here you can put down birthdays or important days of the year. These aren't exactly tasks, but these are things to keep you reminded of what's going on on a yearly basis. So you can go through this and essentially on a real bullet journal, you'd make a, a yearly overview page. However, it's nice to have this database and to just easily be able to do this for all time rather than having to make a bunch of pages. And this is the only way I'm differentiating the bullet journal really. But then if we wanna get into the monthly overview, this is more in the bullet journal style. So this is a linked database where it's just gonna essentially show you whatever month you want. So at the beginning of every month, when you duplicate the different templates out, you can take this and make it the month you want and then put the events on the right being like, okay, what events do I have this month? It's something to remind yourself of as you're going through and keeping up to date with this bullet journal. So then your monthly goals and habit tracking. This is something that's pretty interesting. Uh, in a normal bullet journal, you know, you'd have sort of this layout like this. And as Ashlyn Eason has it, she pretty much has this varying a little bit. However, what's nice is I figured out a way to do a little bit of a template um, habit tracker button, as well as uh, setting you guys up with four weeks of habit tracking to start off the month. So if we do this guy, we press week one, it would showcase this little grid layout so that you can have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Throughout that week, you can write down what habits you achieved, or you can edit this template and then make a bunch of these toggles and put what different ones you want in there. So I had to do a lot of nested column work. Basically, if you want to make columns within something like this, you have to turn it into a page and then turn it into text again. It's pretty interesting how Notion works with that. But essentially what you can do here is edit this template to have a different habit that you want, and then you can check it off based on the days of the week that you want to do it, or you can write down what days you did those things. So going into here, this is your weekly overview, and there'll be four of these that'll be made in the template button at the beginning of every month. So essentially what this is, is a place for you to be able to go and edit your tasks and have the setup that you want. And it's really simple and easy. It's the tasks, it's the events for the week. It's nice, easy, bulleted, and simple. And I think this is a nice differentiation from a lot of the different ways that I task manage. Similar to the weekly agenda, it'll just be like something like this. Uh, record videos, lunch with family, that kind of stuff. And then for monthly storage, what essentially you'd do is you'd pop these guys into here. 
Then you'd go through the whole process. Okay, so then we nestle these here. Nestle the weekly stuff here. And then at the end of the month, you can go inside and then pop this guy in the monthly area. And then at the end of the year, you'd pop things into this side of things, which would be the yearly. And then say, for example, you wanted to make a new month. What you do is press this template button and you'd have everything made out for you. Then you drag this guy here. And then on those circumstances where you have the unfortunate fifth week, which will happen every few times if we're doing this, we can just press this button and it'll create a week. And then you can drag that over there and it can add to the month because there's going to be some overlap. There's 52 weeks in a year, not exactly four weeks every single month in that sense. So if you guys want to find this template, make sure to go in the description or in the pinned comment down below and you will find all of my templates at riseproductive.com slash notion templates. If you're looking for more, go check out one of the, the cards here. I don't actually, I always forget which direction, but I will see you guys in the next one.